really fascinated <laughs> by, by, by the folding of it. That's so cool. everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you wanted to join me today because today we are going to be talking about period products once again. Welcome. Also, I'm super warm, like I am literally dying. I'm going to the beach after filming this and I cannot wait. And that's actually quite on topic with today's video because I'm going to be talking about period products on vacation, what you do when you go out, etc, etc, during the summer. And this video is actually also sponsored Da, 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 da. This video is sponsored by Intimina, a Swedish brand that makes health products for people with periods and also people doing menopause, which is actually pretty cool. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I'm also going to be reviewing one of their cups, which I think was a really interesting experience. But let me tell you a little bit more about Intimina. Intimina makes period products both for people with higher and lower cervixes, which is something that I think is pretty cool. And every time I'm making a menstrual cup video, lots of people are requesting, well, is there options for people with lower cervixes or is the cup going to work super well if you have a high cervix, etc, etc. And this is amazing, like this is super, super cool. And the shapes of the menstrual cups are something that I quite haven't seen before, so that's also something that I was really, really intrigued by. Because I got to try out the Lily Compact Cup, which looks like this. And uh, let me just take you guys through the packaging for a while. I haven't opened this, by the way, because the cup comes in two different sizes, the pre-birth and the post-birth. So there is one size if you have given birth, and there is one size if you have not given birth, which is, with many menstrual cups, products, usually how that works, um, and I'm not going to open this at all, um, but I am going to want to give it away to some of you guys because I haven't given birth, so if there's anyone out there who has given birth, who really wants to try a menstrual cup, send me a DM on Instagram and I will have it shipped your way. So instead, let's take a look at the one I actually opened and tried myself. It comes, first of all, like there's the packaging, which is here, which is primarily cardboard, which I like. There is a plastic window, which I'm not crazy about. Um, they also make this tiny little compact case for your menstrual cup and I definitely see the benefits of this. It fits super, super nicely in a carry-on or in your handbag or in a tote, basically anywhere. But I am not sh sure I'm crazy about the fact that it is made from plastic. It looks like uh, this. I definitely see the practicality benefits of it, but I would honestly, just talking about my own opinion here, I would super duper like for it to not have been plastic. And um, my other solutions when it comes to carrying menstrual products around like this is a small little tote instead. And honestly, I'm also fine with that. But let's open the look and take a look inside. Woo! Because this is the first cup I've seen that sort of folds in on itself when you have to store it. It really just reminds me of a Tupperware container, which I think is super fun. So you, let me see if I could do it again. I just did it with such ease. There we go. So just like that. And then you can sort of store it anywhere you want to. This way it takes up no space whatsoever. It's very discreet as well. And then you pop it open. And before anyone thinks about it, no, it's not going to fold in on itself while you have the cup in. That's also something the vacuum seal um, sort of prevents from happening, that's not going to happen. Um, it's just a cool storage thing, which I really like, and it also makes the cup super, super soft and flexible. Because this cup is super duper flexible and, you know, uh, foldable, it is also very, and I mean, like, it's very, very soft. This is made from medical grade silicone, so if you're wondering more about silicone, I actually have an impact video that explains the whole thing about silicone, which I also think is super interesting. That's a whole other thing. Um, but when I tried this for the first time, I actually had to give it a couple of tries in order to insert it right, because I wasn't used to this level of flexibility. It's definitely a habit thing, because I am used to a quite firm cup, uh, and that's what I've been using, and I feel like I've really liked that. But I definitely see the benefits of using a cup that's super, super soft. I think this would also be amazing for beginners and people who are kind of intimidated by the idea, especially if you're thinking that looks way too big or that looks um, just like super, super hard and firm, and I don't want that near me. No, thank you. I completely get that. Um, the first time I tried a cup, I was super, super intimidated by it. 
Um, so I definitely see this also as a great first cup because it's much less intimidating with the folding, with the flexibility, and it's also significantly smaller than many of the other cups I've tried. The cup being smaller obviously also means that it can contain less, but I still wore this also on my heaviest day and I didn't actually have any trouble. Um, and I think I emptied it three times during the day, simply just to be sure it's also a new cup. So I needed to know exactly what was the tea and ha had I inserted it right. And everything was fine, everything was great. Um, I didn't have any leakage either, which was nice, not even on my heaviest day. Um, so it definitely looks way smaller than many other cups. I don't know if it's just like, I have trouble with spatial recognition like that. I think it looks smaller than other cups, um, ever so slightly, which is also something that makes it a great first first tryers like beginners cup um, which I think is super cool. On Intimina's website they also state that the cup will provide you with up to 10 hours protection which I definitely believe I could definitely see that happening. I usually especially when I'm trying a new cup for the first times I will empty it more often simply just to get an idea of what I'm dealing with and how how many times and how does it like fill up and stuff um, but I could definitely see just having it in for 10 hours as well that would not be a problem but if you're wondering why the heck would you choose a reusable menstrual product, and of course it does not have to be a menstrual cup specifically, I just really really like the cup. It was one of the first major zero waste swaps that I made and I'm just so happy that I did. And every time I hear someone else talking about the cup, it's just like, Ooh, yes, yes, right, right, it's amazing, I know. Um, but the average menstruating person uses in their lifetime up to 11,000 different menstrual products and many of them are disposable, single use and also non-recyclable. And the thing is with both tampons and pads, they contain both the bleach, which is really, really bad for your general uh, vaginal environment and they also contain plastic. <laughs> Many menstrual products simply just end up in waste to energy incinerator plants or at landfills because they are also not recyclable, compostable or biodegradable because they contain synthetic materials mixed with organic materials aka polyester and plastic mixed with cotton and definitely something that I am so happy that I don't have to deal with anymore. I also have a video where I'm talking about three different menstrual products and sort of rating them, so if you're interested in that, that's also down below. But rather than using disposable menstrual products, you can use a reusable menstrual cup instead, and that will actually last you for up to five years. That's a lot less trash. Like, I mean it, it's a lot less trash, which is also why I'm sort of nah about plastic windows and packaging of the menstrual cup because that is again a one-time purchase in a really long time. Would I like for it not to have plastic? Absolutely. And I always appreciate it when strides have been made towards minimizing the plastic of these products, but it's still much, much, much less than using disposable menstrual products every single day. So there's also like, there's a balance there. So yeah, no matter how the menstrual cup is packaged, it will still be more sustainable than using disposables. I also really wanted to answer some of the questions that I've gotten over on my other videos about menstrual products and simply just answer them. Also, I think during the summer, it's a really, really great time to talk about the practicalities of using a menstrual cup, especially if you're moving around, AKA going to the beach earlier. I also travel with it and stuff. And there are definitely tips and tricks that you can do and learn that will make traveling with a menstrual cup much, much easier. So let's do this. The first question is, can you practice sports with a menstrual cup and you definitely can like that shouldn't be a problem I've also been out swimming um, with my cup in still I don't uh, practice sports on my heaviest day but that's also because that I suffer a little bit from menstrual cramps specifically on that day not generally during my period but on that specific day I am really bloated and I have really bad stomach pain, so I prefer not to. But on any other day, like the first day, the like sort of pre-period that's leading up to the period and all other days except the second day, I do taekwondo, I do swimming, I do climbing and I do yoga all with a cup in and I don't have any issues whatsoever. So that's definitely possible. That's definitely, definitely possible. I just answered it, but can you go swimming with the cup? I understand why a lot of people are like, but water and just like, won't it go up? But the thing is when the, but the thing is when a menstrual cup is inserted the right way, there is these tiny small holes. I talked about these tiny small holes the last time uh, as well, 
but these tiny small holes will ensure when you insert the cup, if it's inserted the right way, that a small vacuum seal is created. And when that happens, no air and no water can get into the cup, into the blood, which is also why it's much more hygienic to use a cup, because the blood won't ever leave your system and no air is getting in, so it won't like start to smell and like it won't do any of the things that blood will do if you're wearing pads for instance which I think is pretty cool um, which is also why you can swim with it perfectly fine if the seal is actually created in the right way then that won't be a problem at all and uh, I've really really loved swimming with my cup in comparison to either before I went for the cup either I wouldn't swim during my period or I would be like super paranoia city wearing a tampon and it was not it was not amazing <laughs> Something that I've also heard a lot of people talk about in the comments to my menstrual product videos are the fact that they don't want to try the menstrual cup or they're scared to try the menstrual cup because they've tried tampons for instance and that has really irritated their general vaginal environment or caused severe dryness and I would just like to say that does not happen with the cup. I mean, can I promise that one with 100% certainty? No. But the reason why a lot of people will experience dryness or irritation when it comes to tampons is because they suck up everything in the environment, every kind of moisture. And the moisture is an important part of your environment and that's what keeps you healthy. But the vagina is this amazing self-regulating, self-cleaning system and needs that moisture. And by using a tampon, you're simply sucking up all that moisture and that can cause severe, severe irritation. But that does not happen with the cup because guess what? The cup does not absorb or suck up anything. It just stores something. And because it's made from medical grade silicone, it's not something that absorbs anything in your body. It simply just stores it until you dispose of it. Um, and again, because of the seal, the vacuum seal that is going to be created inside, no air can get into the blood and cause odors and irritation in that regard. So I definitely see benefits to that part of the uh, experience of using a menstrual cup as well. A lot of people have also been wondering what do you do if you want to transport the cup or like how can you store it in a way that does not seem like super okay, here's my menstrual cup, because not everyone makes videos about their periods. Um, which is also fair. I like the idea that you can have a small little compartment. Does it have to be this made of plastic? No, not exactly, but I think it's a good idea to have a designated little space for it that's easy to carry around. And that can look like a little compact case. It can look like a little tote bag. And I definitely think that that works so, so great. And whenever I've been out and I've realized, oh, I've, using, I've been using my cup and I really don't need to anymore, I simply just wash it off and um, sometimes you can wrap it in a little piece of paper towel or simply just rinse it off, just sort of shake it off uh, with the water and then I just put it in my bag again, um, in my little tote and that has been working out amazingly. I think one of the most commonly asked questions have been about how the frick do you clean the cup if you're on the go and I completely understand why that is a big issue because I definitely understand. I have had this situation happen to me a couple of times where I've been at a sink, like outside the stall from the bathroom, just crossing my fingers that no one walked in on me washing my cup. No one wants that. That is not cool. No, that is not a bay. Why am I so young now? I don't know. Um, so I have a couple of different options and I have a couple of different solutions if you're out and about and you have to change your menstrual cup. Because every time you take it out to sort of dump the blood out, um, it's a great idea to simply wash it off also because otherwise the holes will very most likely be clogged up and you won't have that perfect vacuum seal. So it's a good idea to rinse it off every time you take it out and before you insert it again. Um, and what I like to do is that I, first of all, I like to look for a bathroom where there is a sink in the stall with the toilet as well. That is number one priority, it's finding that solution. And a lot of the times it's it's worked out for me. I've found one. If I couldn't find one right now, I just went another place and then there was one there. I've gone to a restaurant where I've been before, so I know the bathroom situation, asked if I could use their, their restroom, and that's been great. But sometimes you're also in a situation where you cannot find that perfect solution. So I have a couple of things that you can do as well. The first one is something that I don't recommend doing, but it works if there are no other solutions as well. It's simply just dunking out the blood, sort of 
sort of trying to get the blood out of the small holes by either using a little bit of toilet paper or blowing on it and then reinserting it and the second you find the perfect bathroom situation later then you can reinsert it and like wash it properly um, but you can also bring a reusable water bottle and then slightly um, wash it off over the toilet with your water bottle instead um, if you know that's going to be a situation where you cannot get the perfect bathroom uh, situation bringing a reusable water bottle and using that to wash your menstrual cup is a really good idea <laughs> I'm just sitting with it on my finger I honestly like to run my cup underwater before reinserting it because I find that it's easier um, so that's something that I've been doing quite a lot simply bringing a reusable water bottle and using that instead of standing there out in the with the public sink and um, crossing my fingers no one is going to see what I'm doing because I'm still not that comfortable with myself and lastly can you use a menstrual cup if you also have an IUD I am not a doctor I really want to make that super duper clear if that wasn't clear I am not a doctor and if you're getting an IUD tell your doctor that you're using a menstrual cup or that you want to use a menstrual cup and take their advice into consideration as well I have an IUD and I use a cup and when I got my IUD I asked my doctor is this going to be a problem do you have any advice have you seen this before and honestly my doctor didn't know what a menstrual cup was which was super duper embarrassing and I was like <clears throat> but what I have found to be true is that some people have actually detached or relocated or dislocated their IUD when taking out the cup. So that is something that you are at risk of doing and something you should take into consideration. Does it make it impossible to use the menstrual cup if you have an IUD? No, not at all, but you should definitely be more careful. The thing that can happen is, again, the magic seal vacuum is important because if you just pull it like this, you will, you will sort of drag everything with it because that's how science um you will potentially dislocate your iud or take out your iud as well because the entire vacuum seal is still in place all the way through the pullout and won't be released until everything is out anyway and that is definitely not what we want what i do instead and i'm i'm, I'm going to try and show you what i do what i do instead is to make sure that before i pull the cup out there is no vacuum anymore so you can do that by slightly just pressing on the bottom part of the cup because you see what happens it slightly reopens and then a little bit of air is going to go into the cup and the vacuum seal will be broken and then you can pull it out so it will look like this like that instead so that is everything that i had to say in today's video if you have any more comments about menstrual products or about menstrual cups leave them down below because I would definitely love to keep this conversation going and generally I try to answer as many of these questions as I possibly can. In the description you can also find links to my other menstrual cup product videos and what I talk about and what I do it and of course you can find links to the cups that I've shown you today. Thank you so much to Intermina for sponsoring this video and letting me try their foldable compact lily cup. I think that was super super cool and amazing and that's also a cup I definitely will continue to wear. I really, really like that one. And um, have an amazing day. Take really good care of yourselves until next time. And I will see you then. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video. And also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys helped me create green zero waste contents. And I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below. And the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye.